Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here with another Indie Showcase. Today is Legends of Isenwald. It's basically a indie game that's been around for quite a bit actually. Uh, probably a year at least in development. And uh, I've always watched it. I think I was actually a backer on Kickstarter. That's why I've always known about it. Uh, kept up to speed on it, kind of stuff like that. So we have Legends of Isenwald. is an original mix of arch RPG and strategy, tactical, turn-based, and a simple economic model. Rich possibilities of gameplay mechanics allow a player to feel, feel being a hero of different stories ranging from treasure hunt to fighting for the throne. You can follow the game paths of a knight, a mystic, a Baroness, and each game case gameplay, the story will be partially different. And we'll just jump right into gameplay, and this is because Ranger number one asked for it. Again, if you add me to Skype right down below, hey, I listen. <laughs> he just Skyped me and said, hey, I was thinking about buying this. Do you have it? Or he saw it on my list. And I said, yep. And I've actually already played a little bit of this, so we'll go new game. Uh, we'll do... So there's a knight, strong warrior who wears heavy armor and excels at melee combat, and he bravely leads his troop to glorious victory or honorable death. Whether wielding a sword or a lance or a great hammer, he is the master of melee. And then when mounted, mounted, the knight is formidable, steel-clad juggernaut. The Baroness is bold and char charismatic woman. She prefers archery, hunting, and adventure to needlework and music. She handles a bow or a crossbow better than anyone else. Thanks to her instinctive cunning and hunting skills, she is at advantage in the wild and at range. And then we have the Mystic. The Mystic is a learned man who has delved into the realms of metaphysics, astrology, and alchemy. A hard fight is his favorite lesson in philosophy, and the world is his laboratory. When a Mystic has mastered the properties of all matters, he can turn iron into glass and fortify wheat chaff until it is stronger than steel. His mind is sharp as any blade. Uh, as any blade and his touch is sometimes flame recommended for advanced players i believe this is a european game so just a heads up so there might be some english things that just don't feel natural uh we're just gonna go with the classic crystonian and then we can go from there maybe add some more people into the game there's a warm welcome and a mug of excellent beer there, I'm sure. Oh, castle. Uh, slits. Slits? Slides? Slits? Oh, and that was me talking. Now this is Berthold. Hopefully a mug of warm wine and a trek through the swamp has sweeped half a swamp into my boots. Seems that dry land isn't too far away. So this is the great... Big tutorial. So we have mini map over here. Got army window, map journal, menu. These are those three buttons. The economies, uh, game speeds, and time indicators. So we'll just jump right in. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and we have some people here. I want to see. Can we... Uh, Nope. I was hoping we could name people, and then it would have been kind of cool. We could have had people from the community in the game. Borto, you fidgeting is unnerving. This is clearly the right road. You said something similar in the swamps, and we spent hours there. <laughs> then if proof is what we require, perhaps my map will satisfy you and incessant worry. We can always check it to see if we're on the right path. So it just says you can open this to a like a bigger system. I actually just map myself that far. Good day to you travelers. I come from 
the castle to escort you to the castle. I know these woods well. These lands are not foreign to me, friend. I know the way to the castle. Oh, I doubt that. You've been trouble in the woods. We ought to avoid more notorious parts, if you take my meaning. Uh, then we best be on our guard. Let's be ready in case we do run into trouble. Open your troop screen. Make sure they stand in the right formations. So, formations is this is your layers. So you're going to have your warriors up here. You're going to have your archers on that side. So this guy joined us. Gaiden. I don't think that's the same name. I wonder if it's a slightly randomized. And then you have your uh, support staff back here. You'll have a uh, cleric and bards and all different kinds of stuff. Let's go type to those nice peasants. Fugitive peasant. Welcome, good sword, to the benevolent Lord Red Bessel's fine forest. Come along, and we'll introduce you to him ourselves. My pardon. We've come a long way. We put aside. We've had some rest. Come along peacefully now, or things might not go your way. I suggest you move along. Uh, don't take kindly to rude guests. So I'm just trying to skip through to make it not so boring. So again, this is the combat. So like I said, front row, second row, rear row, and this is how it works. No movement points. It's a, uh, like a system. So there's abilities, top left. Uh, it also shows who's in line uh, for uh, future churns. So I find my strategy most of the time is to uh, take out the back rows. Because especially when you have healers and stuff like that, it uh, affects everything. Chop those peasants. So you do about six times the damage of peasants right now, so that's not bad. Kind of reminds me of uh, heroes. Heroes of Might and Magic. It's one of those kind of like strategy games and it's definitely the way it cues the creatures you know see you can kind of like counter you have you do have some counters so he attacked when he got attacked kind of thing so that's nice because he can get in some extra damage because there's no way to auto fight this i think which is uh usually what i would do with heroes <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, kill and spree. They surrender and we get 16 gold. We are so rich. So, we want to. I believe there's a way. Nope. Hmm. We'll go to the market first. Because we need to get to the castle. That's a cathedral, that's our pub. The Summer Fair. Yeah, I believe I've had this, like, since Alpha. And the starting of the game, all you had was this. I don't even think the Summer Fair was here. So that's a town, I believe. Like, you can uh, talk to these guys, but they won't do anything. Uh, there we go. Be well, your grace. That's basically it. So here's the castle. That's our ghoul. Ah, Coulson's castle. I swear I seen him from here, ready to welcome us. If you want to see the army or the garrison, right click with the mouse button. Aha! So you also get the history of the places. So it's Towers on the Bluffs, which stands above the picturesque curve of the river. Beyond its towers, the land stretches far into the distance, into the clear weather. It's possible to see distant ships coming towards the lands from the North Sea. So let's just jump right in, talk to the king. So it's a baron. Uh, has changed little over the years. A little gray has seeped into his hair and his beard. He retains the vigor and fierceness of the man you saw often in your father's company. Welcome, sir. It does my heart to see you well. Unless I'm mistaken, I don't recall meeting your friend. Thank you, Baron. A pleasure to meet you again. Let me introduce you. Bertol, a loyal friend and comrade. He saved me from the grasp of death. 
Firm grip, Sir Bertol. I brought you both here. Please treat my home as your own. Uh, encounter a little problem. Beyond the road, bandits under the order of a man called Red Bastel. Troubling news indeed. The entirety of surprising. Uh, spoil your arrival upon a request. You should rest now and regain your strength. Return to me when you're able to discuss, and we will discuss further. I can see your worry from the travels. Make your way to the church. She'll tend to your wounds. So, you can rotate with your mouse. I believe there's a different... There is another, like, way of moving around the map. But I forget. Wonder if I go nope, that's up and down. What about like this? Nope. Trying. And then uh we can accelerate it even. So we can get more done oh, in the let's play or in D showcase. There is always someone here who can wash and treat your wounds. So it's just another tutorial. You got your actions, you can decide to heal one person or heal everyone. So Want to heal all. Oh! St. <laughs> Elna Church. St. Elna Church has been built by the former owner of the castle. People say that the old baron loved his mother greatly and grieved much when she died. In memory of her, he built this church, which has dedicated to the St. Helena, the mother of the first Christian empire, or emperor. So, rotate again. Basically, the, you know, basic game stuff. Go to the church, get healed. And like I said, we can accelerate. And slow down. Ah, you look better. Wonderful! Let's teach him a lesson. You can repay what's wrong. At the same time, rid the thorn in my side. You'll need to get more men to assist me. We'll start here. There's a man in the castle you can hire. So again, just a basic tutorial on what the system looks like. So you click hiring, even though it's already open. You can look at his stats, uh, all his stuff. Uh, these are the skills. So you got axe strike, crow bill strike, uh, mace strike, light armor, and shield. I believe he has a name. Yes. Hole in the Oak. He is such strong warrior. Strong like a oak. <laughs> uh and you can click on the other guys. So actually, gotta get out. Okay, wonderful, but you got infantry archer is not enough. First of all, you need to get a healer, so go to the forest village. And secondly, a priest. Don't be surprised, sometimes the sincere prayer and stuff clubs are do more than sharp steel. You got that right. That's why I always take care of the third row. Also, my young friend, I can see that you're not equipped for battle. You can get something better at the summer fair. And for you, Berthold, I have something special. It's a acquis acquisition. Oh no. Oh no, acquaintance. I was thinking uh, <laughs> something totally different. In Hungary, he swore that the house is, a, or the horse, is a descendant of Arabian stallion. It's too high spirited for me, but you may be able to control it. I told my servants to leave it near the village castle. Okay. Uh, thank you, Lord. I am flattered by such a valuable gift. So we have to go to the Hawk Village first. Get the stallion. Told us to give us a horse. I hope it's well trained. Once I had a stallion, it spent more time in the dirt than in the saddle. <laughs> You're not the only one uh, that have a horse, but also the lance. Since you can only fight on horseback with a lance. So this is just explaining the skills again. So I'll uh, go over it once we're in the inventory. Uh... We can talk to him, but I don't think he has any yet. There's no rumors, no nothing. No information. So I for inventory. And basically what they were saying there was that people with the lance, so you got to go over to Bertol. The lance skill allows you to uh, mount units. 
So my main character can't. So Arabian Knight. And then you put his weapon in, and then we can actually get fancy horse equipment. So I guess he's going bareback for now, which is a little weird. But uh, whatever. So I can tell him mount up. So from now on, when we go into battle, he'll be uh, good to go. Yeah. Cheryl. Let's go to the summer fair, see if we can get some new equipment. Uh, the, the way the system works on this game is it's actually quite simple. So you look at the background. So if it's green, it's good to go. If it's black, uh, I don't know if it's not applicable or if it's just basically the same. It doesn't really increase your stats. It's like neutral. And then red means it's just bad for you. So green means good. So we're going to get this sword. Buy that and that and that. I didn't do this last time, so maybe I'll just buy everything. What's this do? Bull power. Ha! Ha! And that. <laughs> Probably just spent all my money, but that's okay. So, now we have a Damascus sword plus a personal sword, I guess. Now we're going to put chainmail on. So, yeah, they keep increasing. So, we got four to initiative, three to melee attack. 2 to initiative, uh, melee minus, and ranged minus. So, like I said, they all do stuff, so... Yeah, I never went crazy like this last time, so we'll see how much this changes the game. Might make me a tank. Holy water. Once your willpower. Uh, 5 to your melee, a silver ring, once your willpower, and a simple cross, once your willpower. Okay, and we have another horse over here, but I believe, uh, yeah, he doesn't have, like, mounting skill. So what I did there is you can actually right-click and go through their skills, which is another nice thing. Ha, dismiss, dismiss character. Okay, buy new equipment is worth it, yeah, there's dust in the baggage. Let's put it on. Already five steps ahead of you. So again, it's explaining the market, but a step behind. <laughs> uh, I got first exit. There we go. And uh, what we'll do? Is we'll just keep on going, probably. I'm approaching 17 minutes here, so I'm going to probably bring our guys together and then get into a big battle and we'll call it a time there. Sorry for hitting the mic. It probably made some noise. Got ourselves a winch now. So, who did we equip? Helga! The peasant woman. She has restoration, meditation, and garments. <laughs> uh, do We have Wilfred the Stubborn. So he is a preacher. Uh, his skills are blessing and shield of faith. So it increases willpower by six. Lasts for two turns. And adds six. Yeah, to the willpower again for physical damage. And for three turns. And then a meditation again. And wears regular clothes. <laughs> oh, what's that? Some kind of weird symbol there. Oh, maybe these guys are... Yeah, everybody else is hired. When they have a symbol like that, that means they like joined us for free of will, and it doesn't cost me anything. Okay, so now the hunt begins. Let's see if we can gain information and get a beer at the local tavern. Sounds like a plan, especially if drinking is involved. Sure. Yeah. Come on, come on. There we go. Hopefully that didn't affect the recording. Kind of went off screen there for a bit. Uh, we'll grab some beer, but keep our ears open. So again, you go to listen. And then we can learn all about this, but what we'll do... Maybe just when I think. There's no escape of the brothers. Uh, they're the people. Means the owl the coast. The coastal owls are fond of fish, and the brothers are after ships and goods. 
uh, do, do suffer a great deal from them. The younger one has recently disappeared. Has little luck with his neighbors. Okay, so that's the people across the way. Hmm. Okay, she's talking about a beast. And then this one is the lighthouse. That's about treasure. And then he's a wizard. That's gone. Ah! <laughs> I was just talking to the normal people for uh, gossip. I have to talk to him. So here's your gold. And then he rats him out. I'm no fool, so don't play false with me. Oh, this is the treasure. Jesus. But I think we got what we needed. Yeah, there we go. You can see him on the map here. Red, uh, whatever. What? That's not where I wanted to go. I need to go up here. Let's get close, and then I can see him walking through the forest, I believe. Yeah, there he is. Cha-cha! Now I'm locked on. Going in for the kill. Pursue him. Defeating a uh, few men must seem impressive victory to you, but you're a fool to come here. I have enough men to finish you off. Ta -da -da. Of course I have to do it at night time. Hopefully it's coming up on YouTube nice and clear. Okay, we have Bertold here, and because he's in the forest, he can't use his horsey. Oh, actually, we're using uh, Wilfred here. So, you got your skills up here. We can bless, or we can uh, shield of faith. So we're going to bless, and Christonian's a middle character, so I'm going to bless the crap out of him, because I don't want him to die. And... We're just going to go straight up the middle and chop suey everyone. Concentrate our fire. Kill one guy right off the get-go. Uh, my archer is going to focus on the healer. Uh, this guy could go... Yeah, I guess right here. So this is just my basic soldier. And here comes the... Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh, it's more like uh, Final Fantasy, the animation, I find. Uh, cast the healing. Come on. Huh, that was weird. I thought because they were green automatically... Oh, I should have healed him. Uh, let's give him a shield. And hopefully he'll stay alive a little bit longer. This guy's gonna get pummeled. He's getting attacked from three sides. It's kind of a waste of a turn, but that's all I had for options. Let's keep hammering that healer back there. What the heck? Why didn't he die the last time? Not good. Okay. So, let's restore our archer. Keep him at max health. They'll probably both have to go into meditation after this. Um... Okay. Oh, he still has enough for Shield of Faith. So let's use it on him. And then he'll have to go into meditation next time. He has no more mana. And I, the one thing I don't like about it is, like, see, I can't, like, leave until this guy's dead. Me no like it. Shooter. Shooter. Because of that. Uh, and I don't have enough, so I have to go into meditation. Which will hopefully not kill my characters. <laughs> they don't die, so that's a, a cheat answer for me. So there we go. Uh, let's go with this. Ooh, massive damage. And I'll get you to restore him. Because he's going to go straight into combat. And I believe that other guy, he can't shoot. 
because my guy is so close to him. And here we go. Come on. Archer versus Archer for the kill. So, yeah. So, uh, like I said, he does come back. Uh, we also got a whole bunch of loot. So, we got some arrows, a leather, brigadine, and a bow, and some trophies. Some ears and noses. <laughs> it looks like you've underestimated us. Say goodbye, you scum. Don't kill me, I beg you. I was told to capture you on the way. It was not my wish. Uh, could be very well the cowardly rat is lying, but let's hear him out and then decide what to believe. I was under the command of that neighbor across the way. He's trying to take your friend's castle, rob the people, and share the loot with him. We'll take this to the castle and see what he thinks about these allegations. Okay. This is Christonian here. Hope you guys like this indie showcase. If uh, you want to see more, just tell me. And uh, we can create uh, other videos of this indie show showcase or make it into a Let's Play. And just like that, dawn comes to us. Okay, bye for now. And as always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.